Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment from our series Straight From The Horse's Mouth. This webinar is part two of our TCFD series, so I highly recommend you check out the previous one before watching this, which you can find on the Finkstep ANZ website. This webinar acts as a continuation and focuses on how you can improve your TCFD reporting. Here's a sneak preview. Now in the disclosure, we don't expect companies to provide granular point by point uh, demonstration of how climate risks are governed, but we expect at least at the very beginning, an outline and a summary of the board's oversight, management's role, and the processes used to identify, assess, and manage climate related financial risks. It really is a multidisciplinary uh, effort, but the accountant needs to be in the room. Think about how to consider climate as part of your, exis your existing risk categories, credit risk, operational risk, strategic risk, and think about how climate can be a risk multiplier. I could keep going on this and I could have a whole entire section on risk management, but let's let's move on to some of the examples of how companies are doing this. If you go onto the TCFD Knowledge Hub, there's a, a specific page on scenario analysis. Um, and on that page, there are some kind of top tips about how to get started, some of the considerations that you need to, you need to take. Um, and there's some resources at the bottom there that might be helpful. Companies need to consider the longer term nature of climate change and that these will be different to normal time horizons companies may be currently implementing for financial planning, strategy setting and risk identification. If you're interested in watching both installments for this TCFD series, you can find the webinars on the Finkstep ANZ website.